It's been two years. Two. Two long, good years. And guess what? Honey, B, guess what? I'm back. She a bad bitch. Far from average. Yeah, nigga line if you say he had it. She a bad bitch. She the baddest. Yeah, nigga line if you say he had it. I don't even know where to begin, begin y'all. Like, let's just go back two years ago when I was on YouTube, and then we'll basically jump right into after I started stopped after I stopped YouTube, and then we'll probably jump into my current, um, answer some questions about what I got going on. Maybe you know a couple of ten new ten facts about me. Cause look, I'm not the same lately, y'all. I'm not the same as Ailey, y'all. So. I'm excited. I'm super, super, super duper excited. Um, this is going to be an amazing journey. Um, my best friend and I also did start a channel. I want you guys to just comment, like, subscribe to that channel as well. Um, so you guys don't miss out on anything. We've got so much things going on. And I feel like 2021 is going to be a very prosperous year. You know, we're going to be able to manifest and become better as an individual. But not only as an individual, as a family. You know, y'all are my bees. You know, we're y'all the honey. We honey bees, y'all is, you know, we're going to, we're going to do this this year. So I'm super excited and I'm really thankful that you guys are able to hold on with me. Cause you know, I can be inconsistent. So I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. We're going to get right into this video. So while we're going into the video, you guys, where I'm also eating. So I'm just on my bag. I'm just I'm hungry and I've been craving ramen. So, we're going to eat. We're going to eat. So, back two years ago, let's just go back. Two years ago, I was working as a host, as you guys know. I was working at what they have as a melting pot. It's a fondue place here in Colorado. Um, and I was trying to get myself stability to so, you know I could work a full-time job. I was working part-time and going to school. It was a lot going on. Um, and... I wanted to give myself, you know, some growth. You know, I wanted to make something out of my career, um, whether it was what I was already going to school for, um, which was massage therapy. It's not a secret. I went to school for massage therapy for 11 and a half months. Um, after that, um, we started getting into real estate. Um, my family, you know, of course, bought some properties. Um, and basically we invested in really full throttle got into that and I felt like if I could be doing something you know of that nature a town flying doing what I was doing I might as well take advantage and do you know it here in town and then you know m you know he needs some milk eliminate the factors of flying out and in and out and you know just being all over the place so actually that's longer than two years it was actually long about like four years yeah i think i've been off for about four years goodness i'm sorry you guys i've been gone we're gonna catch up we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let me catch back up and we're just gonna full throttle this we're gonna go hard so um after that job i took another position I was a leasing agent and I loved that job. I absolutely loved that job. I didn't love the properties I worked for, nor the management company. It was not the best management company, but I loved the experience of being able to interact with individuals in another aspect, giving them that feeling or that, excuse me, that was not cute, but giving them that, you know, interaction that they wanted, you know, being able to help them, you know, with their household or life situations, being just more personable, you know, because when you're a host, you know, you're just booking appointments and oh, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, happy anniversary. Oh, like, yeah, that's really all it was. So being able to connect with people on another level was actually intriguing to me. I was a leasing agent with that company for less than a year. Another management took over. Um, after that, I was with that management company for about a year. Um, and I had got promoted to assistant manager. I managed a community that was about 192 units um, for a couple months. 
um, got it, you know, where it needed to be, got it very stabilized, you know, and then they removed me off of that project and put me at some other two properties that needed some more love. You know, they were struggling with the manager that was already there. You know, they weren't able to get it where they needed to be. Nevertheless, that, but you know, when you're in the apartment industry, you know, when people call every day, you understand that, you know, you've got vacant units. And when you sit on vacant units, you're losing revenue. So, you know, they needed to accommodate for that revenue that was lost. And I basically just went over, you know, and got them taken care of because, you know, I was a leasing agent. So that's what you do when you're a leasing agent or consultant. You basically lease apartments. And when you become, you know, established in the industry, I'd recommend that you start there so that you basically get the ground foundation and understanding of property management. Long story short, um, I ended up getting a property stable. They moved me, promoted me to assistant management and another company took over. Like it was just drama, like just drama. Like the management companies that were in place couldn't get it together and it was just hectic. So the company that I work for now, I've been with them for now for about three years. Um, and I adore the company. I adore the company. I adore what I do. You know, I have right now currently three properties. So I do become busy. You know, we're gonna ease on into this YouTube. We're gonna do part-time and then I'm crossing my fingers. We're gonna go full-time, you know, with you guys' support, your love, um, your patience. You guys give me my motivation. So we are definitely going to full throttle this eventually. I just wanna make sure that I give you guys the best. The content, um, give you guys the best that I can be as an individual because you know, this is me. You know, you, you're only gonna get so much of Azela, okay? Like, this is me. So, you either take it or you can leave it. But either way, I'm going to be 100% and I'm going to be real with y'all. Period. And that's how Mary had a little lamb. Okay. But with that being said, I do want to go over these little questions because there's about 10, you know, updated facts about me that I would like to go over. And it's just little stuff, you know, like my current 21, 20. 21 my current 2021 where i'm at type situation but what's your favorite artist that you listen to right now my favorite artist i listen to right now i feel like i don't know i feel like okay let me back up i love music y'all know i love music from the previous video that i did we bump music like i bump music you know like there's not an end to music for me whether it's the oldies, whether it's the blues, jazz, whether it's 90s, current area, the, like I love all types of music. It. But there's a couple of different kind of genres that I don't really listen to as much and there's a couple of genres that I absolutely just wouldn't listen to and that's my preference. Not saying that your preference is any less than, that's just my preference. Okay, so as far as like my top favorite music artists, um, we're gonna just do like female and male. Like I just, I'll keep it very simple because I can get really in depth with it. So we'll just do new era. Um, excuse me. New era right now, my favorite male artist. See, okay, R&B right now, um, I'm gonna have to go with Brent Fias. Female wise, I'm gonna have to go with LMA. Hip hop or rap genre, I'm gonna go with New Era. No. See, because New Era, Glock's got me, and Shiesty's got me right now. New Era. So I'm gonna give them in the category. I'm gonna get him. And then female rap wise, Lotto. Yeah. Lotto's got me on. Coming real down, so down, bitch from the south. I know I'm not from the south, I'm from the east coast, but Lotto's got that one. My favorite food to eat, Mexican. Like I was just talking to my best friend, that's so crazy. I was just talking to my best friend about this. Like her and I was having a debate cause we was getting ready to do a video. We were, we was, whatever, it doesn't matter. We was getting ready to do a video for our channel and she was like, what if we do Mexican food? And I was like, girl. She's like, um, didn't you just have Mexican food? 
girl my hair is nappy she's like didn't you already just have mexican food and i was like yeah but i can eat mexican food every day she's like i'll pay you some money and i was like look i will eat mexican food every single day of my life until the day i croak like i love mexican food so if y'all want my next mukbang to be some mexican food comment down below what you want me to try if there's some new stuff y'all like to try y'all like some different combinations see because i like street tacos maduro I don't even want to get into it, like, because it's going to be a whole long list and we don't got time to do all that. So, yeah, just comment down below if y'all want me to, you know, do a little Mexican mukbang next. Because I got y'all. I got y'all. The next one's my favorite fashion brand to wear. So, right now, I'm transitioning. So, for a very long time, I was just focused on paying bills. Like, I really haven't really given myself, like, time to, like, experiment with all these different brands that they got now. Like... But right now, hands down, my favorite two is Fashion Over and Pretty Little Things. Like, bruh, this is from Pretty Little Things. And don't get me standing up and spinning, y'all, because this dress is fitted right tight. So, those are my two favorite ones. Um, and then, of course, my own. Like, what? Zassi Collections. We're going to start getting into that, too. That's a whole different topic for a whole different day about my brand that I got going, you guys. And I'm so excited to get it out to you guys. And I'm so excited for you guys to see it's an accessory brand for women. It's only accessories. We've got handbags, jewelry, um, lashes. Lashes is not going to be, like, the mainstream um, of it all. And yeah, I'm excited for you guys to get into that with me and just be a part of my journey and learn me more and become like my best friend as well as much as me become your best friend because i love y'all number four question it says what would you prefer silver or gold see that's a hard one because for me i love accessories and that's why i did what i did with my collection you know like for me like i could take a simple outfit and put some jewelry together and me some handbags and some shoes and make it look like it is worth a million bucks and they're like dang she cute <laughs> And it's only worth a couple of dollars, but you know, boo, that's what we do. It's a secret. It's called Mind Your Business. That's all. That's it. Period. So, personally, like, if I went into the jewelry store and had to pick gold, but, but, growing up, my mom and I only wore silver. Like, it took me a very long time to get into gold because we rock silver. Like, silver was hard dye silver, sterling silver nothing else but sterling silver like that's all we wore and then as i got older i got me a couple of necklace no i take that back i graduated and my grandma had got me a necklace and it was gold and i wore that necklace for so long until it broke and i was like i gotta get me another necklace so then i bought me another necklace with my name on it it was gold and then i was like i kind of like gold so then i got some gold earrings and then just transitioned into gold so if i had to choose one or the other gold but if i had to put a fit on like right now i got gold and silver on, but if i had to put a fit on and had to rock both of them i could rock it period period no man period what's your favorite tv show to watch see that's a I thought my hand was ashy, y'all. We're gonna have to handle that. Um, that's hard because I don't really watch a lot of TV. Like, I'm gonna be so honest with y'all. I work so much, like, it's so bad. Like, we start working every single Saturday now. So I'm gonna try really to record on Sundays for you guys and get uploaded on Tuesdays because our best friend vlogs are Mondays for uploads. So Tuesdays will be my personal day for uploading. Um, but as far as like TV shows go, we'll just say like a classic one. Like I used to watch all the time or I can go watch right this second and be okay. Watch the PJs like that hands down is probably one of my favorite one, like favorite TV shows to watch the PJs because they're funny. I don't know how to explain it. Like I really would sit there. That's rude. I really would just sit there and watch it. Like, I don't know. That's just me. What's your favorite celebrity to watch and see? What do you YouTube edition? Um, my favorite celebrity to watch and see was Diera. I love Diera. 
she's so genuine so peace of mind and humble and so optimistic she based y'all are so rude i'm doing something um so optimistic and humble like the girl i don't know i just honey we appreciate you so for females like me that's coming up that's procrastinating that want to become something i'm looking up to you baby boo i'm looking up to you that's all that's it what's your favorite type of shoes or what's your favorite pair of shoes to wear that's hard too oh, you guys i've changed so much so when i was younger um going into my 20s and then my early 20s because technically i'm gonna be mid 20s and I'm pushing pushing getting older so i'm gonna be mid 20s like i'll be 24 and then pushing it so yeah but when i was okay when i was in the teens i wear a lot of jordans and like sneakers like i love these bezos and some jordans like couldn't tell me that they were we're going to the store and getting them. But as I got older, like I think when I turned 21, no, I take that back. When I turned 20, going on 21, and my best friend and I started kicking it. And we always would go out and I start wearing heels. And I was wearing heels every single weekend. I got into heels. Um, I would prefer the platforms versus then the skinny heels. Because girl, I'm a little thick. And it's hard to be ripping and running and... Like if you've been running through somebody's mini house and you got skinny heels on, you're slipping and sliding all over the floor. But if you got platforms, you got stability. You good. Like you know what I mean? You get that that good structure. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just me. Um, my favorite shoes to wear, like brand of shoes. I don't know. My Balenciagas are comfortable. Uh. I don't know. That's a hard question. I'm just going to leave it very vague because I love shoes. Like I mentioned, like shoes and accessories and all that extra. It goes all hand in hand. What's your number one goal in life? My number one goal life? My number one Boy, that bitch eyes on fleek. I bet that hoe could do some material tricks with them eyes. Girl, if you don't get you want to have a staring contest head ass on, I bet your eyelid got stretch marks. My number one goal in life is probably to be... Financially, no, I wouldn't even say that. It's stability, period. Financially, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, you know, when you are stable in all aspects of your life and you're able to give the knowledge to somebody else to empower them and allow them to become in tune with themselves, that's the success or that's a, that's a life goal that you achieve. Because it's hard for people to go through things in their life and give advice to people and then have them or, or, or help them, I should say, help them achieve their goals. But when, you've, when you're a person that is trying to achieve goals and you're allowing people to help you along the way, you become so much more successful because you're allowing their experiences to be a part of your own experience, if that makes sense. So I don't want for my end goal in life to be only that I did YouTube and I worked a nine to five for the rest of my life and didn't have anything come out of it. I want somebody to look at me, look at my story, look at what I got going on and be like, she's the truth and she was able to do it. So why can't I? Whether you're yellow, green, purple, blue, brown, white, silver, gold, it doesn't matter. You can do it. You can be just as successful if you put your mind to it, keep your consistency, and y'all are going to test me, and I'm going to want you to test me. Um, and yeah, happiness is too. Happiness is the key. You know, eternal happiness though. You know, eternal happiness is hard when you don't have your foundation you know when you have no structure and no foundation and you have no goal to achieve or try to accomplish that's hard so that's one thing that this year i'm going to work towards i've got so many different goals that i'm going to accomplish but the biggest one by the end of the year is to at least get you guys full time i want to give you guys all of azela full time by december going into january of next year and I wanted to challenge you guys to help me get there because it's not easy. 
it's not easy and I want to be able to share my story your celebrity crush y'all want to know something my I've got I've got three celebrity crushes three so like I told y'all Shiesty and Pooh got me you know not just because you know it's the hood nigga in me I'm telling you but not only because of that but I really enjoy like gutter hood just not raunchy but like I don't know something about her nigga just do it for me it just does just like ooh just little chills um but my third celebrity crush y'all might think that this is just out the wazoo but girl Nas grown black owned black woman is the backbone Latin food in the back room big business I'ma drop a new yak soon following the cash anybody that knows me grew up with me been my friend, talk to me, kick it with me, skate with me. All of that knows that Nas is my favorite one top down stunner man. Celebrity crush. Like, bro, if I met him in person, and I mean, like, y'all, like, met the man in person, kicked it with them for the day, like, I don't even know. I don't even know, because. That man is so lyrically knowledge and empowered. Like, y'all don't even know. It's the knowledge that's up to me. It's the, it's the, it's the brain for me. <laughs> it's the really for me. The tone for me. Y'all, that nigga said, it's as, it's a shot that you got. What did he say? It's the ass shot that she got in the butt for me. I don't know. I'll play the clip. Don't even hold me. Guys, is where do you see yourself in 10 years? I am so excited about this question. So, like I mentioned, by the end of the year, I want to be able to give you guys full-time YouTube. Um, in the process of me giving you guys full-time YouTube, I'm going to fully pursue Zassi Collections. So, I'm going to try to, between now and December... We got so much going on, like we're gonna be, I'm gonna be moving you guys. Like we're gonna have so many different hauls and vlogs and it's going to be just so much going on. Like I moved before, like y'all, I moved while I was supposed to be pursuing YouTube and I didn't even get to do it because I was so busy with my job that I failed to do like, it's just, we're gonna just change it up. Like we're gonna be consistent. So yeah, there's so much more vlogs coming, so much more content coming. It's just a lot. Um, but as far as like in 10 years, the end goal, I love property management. That's never gonna change about me. That's always gonna be a part of me because my parents have rental properties. So with that being said, I want to eventually, I'm going to buy a house. You know, when I buy my house, you know, my goal is to build the clientele for myself so that I can open and have my own rental and rent and property management company. Um, and then there's some different things going on. But yeah, definitely that's going to be the ultimate goal. Um, full time on YouTube, full throttle on Zassi Collections and start investing in myself to be successful for the future so that I can give you guys more of me so you can see the creative side of me and the productive side of me and the the business side of me me as a businesswoman y'all y'all are not even ready for me on that end because look let me tell you baby i am not i am not my why well, my skin and i am my hair let me not even do that to india we're not even gonna do that to shorty but it's a whole different ballgame it's a whole different ball game, and I'm so excited for you guys to be part of that journey. So, with that being said, honeybees, that being said, yo, my mom is cold. I'm done. I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. I want y'all to at least get this video to about like, I don't know, because I get a lot of likes in my last video because I'm not persistent. So, you can get this bitch to like 10 likes. I'll post my next video. I love y'all. Peace. She a bad bitch. Far from average. Yeah, nigga line if you say he had it. She a bad bitch. She the
baddest. Yeah, nigga line if you say yeah.